got this uh, radiator in the shop, late night project. Got to uh, cut this bottom corner out of the tank in order for it to clear. This goes in the race jeep. The pivot arm is uh, hitting right here in order for this to fit. We'll just cut this whole section out, remove this neck, put it right here, which means the transmission cooler has to come out. Sometimes I don't get too excited about cutting up brand new $400 radiators, so that has to be done, so I just better get after it. Yay! Reusable even. Got it all cut apart. If you ever wondered what the transmission cooler looked like inside of a radiator, that's all it is. Just a tube. Let's coolant go all the way around it, and the fluid just flows through the uh, inside of that, just all the surface area. So, pretty simple. So, there's the piece I cut out, and that's the gaping hole I'm left with. So, I'll get a uh, piece bent up, fit in there, and uh, see if I can uh, make something usable out of my destruction that I just inflicted upon this poor thing. So now you also notice I just took and clamped a piece of sheet metal over the core so that protects it. So in case something a tool gets away from me I don't totally destroy the radiator. So got my template cut here. Um, I radius this edge right here a little bit so it kind of rolls in and looks a little bit more finished. Um, so now I just need to go transfer this to some uh, sheet aluminum and uh, then I can uh, bend that piece of aluminum to fit in here and then I can uh, uh, get it tacked in place. What I'm going to end up doing is I'll get the piece tacked in and cut the hole for this, tack it in place and then I'll give the radiator to Kendall. I'll have him test fit it and make sure it's all going to work. Make sure there's not any uh, unintended consequences from from doing this. So if everything fits good, then I'll finish welding it, and it'll be ready for him. Ready to tack. Got this hole all opened up and ready for that to go in. So weld it up next. Got the uh, bottom part of the. Uh, radiator tank tacked together and the uh, neck for the lower radiator hose tacked on as well so I'm just gonna leave it like that for Kendall to, to test fit. So to go any farther before I get it up to him I needed to figure out a way to mount this fan. There's not enough room for a shroud because this motor barely clears the front of the uh, engine. I need to build some brackets to hold it in place trying to create something that would work for this because of all the weight of that fan and all the intense vibration and g-forces this is going to see on these rough trails so I didn't want it to break or have the fan wear on the radiator or anything crazy like that. I think this is the design that won. It'll bolt here and then I'll put two bosses, one here and one here somewhere to uh, support this end here to support the weight. Got this last bracket built for the uh, fan shroud. Sorry, I didn't wasn't able to film much of the process, but I'll just kind of walk through it really quick. So this was the template that I used um, to make this this bracket on this side, and I like to use this. Uh, it's like cereal box type cardboard. It's nice and thin, um, easy to work with, um, bends nicely. I can put it in the sheet metal brake make nice straight bends and I can tell the 
with with my template I can tell exactly heights and um, everything else to know where to put the bends in my final piece to, to get everything right because I wanted this fan just a little bit off of the core so that there was zero chance of that rubbing on there. So when I, Kendall brings it back I'll finish welding the bottom tank because I just have that tacked and then I will put um, nut certs in here where these bolts go so inserts kind of like these that were already in the radiator so and then the, this will be permanent and it should be extremely strong to withstand all of the abuse and vibration um, that this is going to get put through just a few of you that know the magic uh, project that this that this is going to go in so um, and I'll give you a hint you haven't seen it on any of my videos yet so <laughs> it's coming up shortly so but I'm pretty excited about this I think the kids might be more excited about it than I am so they about, they about I know, I, know them, I am they about <laughs> wet themselves when they saw the r &L truck had showed up so yeah it's been sitting for so like what's 20 years that? The car that's going is since yeah. for 20 years. So. Yep, it has yep. been. Okay, Kendall brought the radiator back for me. Everything fit in the Jeep just fine. And he said right here on the notch, the pitman arm and the drag link, I'll clear this just fine. So I need to get this all welded up and back to him. Get this fan uh, bolted on. I just had a couple of self drillers in it, but I need to put nut certs and then I can run actual quarter inch bolts. So I'll put three bolts on either side to spread the stress. So I still need to weld those. Plug this hole, weld this. Have this hole that I need to fill. What I like to do is use the annular cutter, um, that same style of cutter I used to cut out the cooler, and go to the next size bigger. It'll make the perfect size plug to fill that hole and I'll leave the little bit of burr on the top and what that allows me to do is drop that in there and that little piece across the top will hold that plate right in place so I can weld around it and not have to fight it. Have this bracket before mounting it as clean up some of these sharp burred edges from running it through the bandsaw. The little tool I like to use for that is this little guy just has a little carbide um, cutting wheel at the end and it cleans off that rough edge. Just like that, puts a pretty nice edge on it, makes it look finished. Drilling these holes out, I like to use these nice drill bits for sheet metal work. They cut super fast and make a nice clean hole. It stays sharp for a super long time too. Just need to put the nut cert into it. This is the tool I like to use. 
nice thing about it is I got it from Amazon for like 30 or 40 dollars or something works super slick all right there's the finished product ready to go till next time I'm going to bed thanks for watching